I swear to God, guys, the world could be ending. There could be laser beams shooting out of the street lamps. All of the houses could be on fire, and these landscapers will still be outside with their leaf blowers, using up as much gas as possible. Uh, so if you guys are wondering, you know, Frank, why are you shirtless? It's because I haven't eaten anything all day, and I kind of want to show off the leanness a little bit. Uh, but today I figured I would give you guys a summary of, you know, what's been going on in my life, you know, what I've been doing, you know, with my family, with my businesses, you know, over the past few months is that'll answer a lot of the questions you guys have been asking me. Uh, first and foremost, if you guys can sign up for the newsletter at frank stefanocom as the suppression of my channel and videos seems to be getting worse and worse. And this brings me to the overarching concern I've had that I really need to stop worrying about because it's out of my control. Despite being consistent, you know, making YouTube videos every single day for two years, three live streams per week, spending thousands of dollars of my hard earned money on my day job per month in advertising, my channel growth has been nowhere near people that have done far less. And we all know why that is. But the point is that it's preventing me from reaching and helping more people. Unfortunately, you know, when what you're doing takes money out of the hands of many lucrative businesses, you know, there are people in place to make sure that doesn't happen on a large scale. Everything I've done on my channel has had positive implications. You know, warning people about the dangers of a vegan diet, the downsides of eating feedlot animal products, the harms of new Wi-Fi technology, but I have received far too much negative for what is supposed to be a positive message. It goes to show how all of these people that are against me truly don't care about the health and well-being of anyone but their own bank accounts. Now, I've always tried to be positive and move forward regardless of knowing the cards are stacked against me because I know that if I start acting negative and give up, you know, that's exactly what these people want. They win. Uh, so I will continue to be positive and hope that opportunities occur in the future. But I do want you guys to know that you know, I've been selflessly doing this for over a year now. You know, I understand I have a responsibility to educate people and spread information on my platform. You know, I would say that I have one of the, if not the most important nutrition channel on YouTube due to my in-depth understanding of what actually makes us healthy. And you guys have kept me going throughout all of this, but you know, without the larger scale support that a lot of these other people are getting, the podcast platforms, the TV shows, you know, I can't imagine many people have had to go through so much adversity without getting more reciprocation. And I want you guys to be assured that I am in this for good, uh, but I keep working harder and harder and getting less results and no one wants to be in a situation like that. So uh, I won't talk about my family too much. You know, things have been the same for the most part. You know, the health of my mother and father continues to decline somewhat. Like, I can't, I can't make this up. Now someone's revving their engine. Um, what the fuck is this? This guy have nothing better to do? Uh, so, I, I've been trying to help my parents uh, to get some nutrients in their diet, reduce their inflammation, you know, get them away from the Wi-Fi devices, you know, but my father's self-destructive behavior has manifested itself in the form of memory problems, and, you know, my mother's been having memory problems ever since she had her stroke a couple years ago. You know, I've had the same conversations over and over with my family dozens of times, and I even forced them to write stuff down at this point. Uh, I'm really trying not to focus on it too much though, but you, know, you can imagine it gets very frustrating when you know, you're trying to help someone and you've told them the same thing over and over again. It's like deja vu. Like I'm literally living in, you know, what's the movie, 50 First Dates, where you just feel like you're repeating yourself over and over again and nothing ever gets done because the people you're living with live in like a false reality where their lives just reset every day. I feel like that's what it's like for my parents and my sister. My sister hasn't been at her day program as everything is closed. You know, they are doing some online Zoom classes and she's doing okay at home, but you know, has been acting up a little bit and it has been causing some stress. I mean, you know, my parents complain about every single thing. You leave a fork in the wrong place, it's like the end of the world. Uh, but my main concern about my sister is that she hasn't been sleeping and has been having some health related issues from taking birth control. So I've been trying to adjust her diet in a way I see fit to remedy the problems, but my parents keep giving her low quality food 
and it's certainly impairing my ability to fix my sister's health. So uh, there's definitely an element of unneeded stress that I can't really avoid. You know, my parents won't listen to the health guidelines I'm setting for my sister. You know, every single day I walk downstairs and my father is giving something she's not supposed to be eating. And this is bad because there are certain detox pathways that are inhibited by you know certain negative food additives so in order for me to help my sister you know my parents have to allow me to do so and uh, that's not happening this is the difference between her eating some organic macadamia nuts versus some walnuts or some prosciutto versus some crappy deli ham you know i'm spending a lot of money on quality food for my sister's health and my parents are just frustrating the hell out of me when all i want for my sister is for her to sleep better and be happy throughout the day. You know, she was drinking six, seven cups of coffee a day when she was working at Staples, and my parents weren't telling me that. And I'm like, yeah, no wonder she's not doing good because you guys let her completely destroy her adrenals. Uh, you know, I think my parents mean well, but in a way they're treating her like a dog where they think giving her food is gonna make her happy when that, that's not the case. And uh, speaking of making women happy, you know, I've thought a lot about trying to get a girlfriend as in, you know, elements of growth for both my life and my YouTube channel. Obviously, you know, having a girl draws views and, you know, that element of family dynamic is, you know, something approachable to more people. And it's certainly something I've always wanted for myself, but it's been kind of a miss in this uh, new culture we live in. With everything going on in my life, from my family to my businesses, my obligations, I haven't met a woman who isn't a complete parasite. And, you know, you kind of expect a two-way street in a relationship, but, you know, the past few cases, I feel like a clown at a circus trying to entertain people. And to me, I, I just don't feel an emotional or intimate benefit from anything I've experienced in the past. It just doesn't seem worth it. So, you know, I don't really anticipate anything moving forward. Uh, mainly because it doesn't make any sense. I mean, I might be able to find, you know, a like-minded female, but, um, you know, why am I going to spend more time, effort, and, to be truthful, hard work just to please some princess so I can flash her around in some YouTube videos? You know, since that is the main factor for motivation, you know, it just doesn't give me enough drive to pursue these girls in the current dating setting. I guess we can go over my current business obligations. And for any of you unfamiliar, I have, you know, Frankie's Free Range Meat, where we sell quality animal foods at the lowest price out of any of the online vendors I've seen. And if you're wondering why we're able to undercut everyone, it's because me and my business partner, Adam, are nuts and we haven't been making any money. Uh, Frankie's Naturals is minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. And recently I've opened up organ supplements, uh, which will have all of the products that I currently use in my diet, uh, you know, some months from now. Uh, then of course, my health consulting business on frank .com. You know, I help people adjust their diets, their lifestyle factors, their exercise in order to be happy and healthy. So with Frankie's Free Range Meat, we're looking to get into our new facility shortly. We're finalizing the lease right now, and then we're gonna expand our operations. Right now, the raw dairy and the farm eggs aren't gonna happen anytime soon because we don't have enough capital or loans to start that operation this year. Uh, so the goal is gonna be to continue to provide mostly beef to you guys, as well as cheese, organs, fish eggs. Uh, the dried products like jerky are delayed until we do have that future farm property where we can set up a larger infrastructure with more of the equipment we need. Uh, Frankie's Naturals has been delayed a bit. You know, I'm still having some sleeping issues from iron overload and I haven't been able to get the products listed on Amazon, but I'm hoping to do so soon as much as I despise Amazon for what, you know, they've done recently. They're, they're doing well and all the small businesses are suffering. You know, I've been making all of these products in my apartment as well as my parents' house. You know, so it has been a lot of work and a lot of trial and error, frustration to figure out all of these things. Uh, but, you know, hopefully it pays off soon. Organ supplements is going well. Uh, we sell the, the freeze-dried beef liver full organ supplements, you know, vitamin D, K2, male virility. Uh, but the labels and product line is not complete yet. So hopefully in a few months, I'll have more products released and everything will be finalized and streamlined and uh, really up and running. So that brings me to my current health. And I'm still trying to donate blood and remove some iron from my liver. You know, if I don't take a copper supplement, I will literally not sleep that day. Uh, so hopefully all of this is over, you know, when I get some sun this summer 
and I'm feeling better in a few months. You know, the main issue is this bodybuilding bullshit. I really can't stand eating all of this meat and honey every day. You know, these two large meals in the morning and at night are killing both my stomach and my sleep schedule and impairing my ability, you know, to heal from these health issues. You know, I've already committed six to seven months to this bodybuilding and I figured that I may as well go for a few more. On one hand, you know, the world is likely ending soon and I can spend my time much more productively if I wasn't bodybuilding, you know. I'd spend less time eating, less time in the gym, less time sleeping, and my overall quality of life would go up substantially. But the prospect of being a fitness influencer might solve all of these issues I've been having currently. And if this fitness stuff gives me a larger platform, the temporary suffering will be worth it. Uh, so I'm going to stick it out a bit longer and see where things go. You know, I've already suffered for, you know, six to seven months. You know, what's another six to seven months going to hurt? So we'll see how that goes. Um, hopefully, you know, I, as much as I'm trying to stay positive right now, I'm looking at these godforsaken LED street lamps, which are in my view, several of them every time I walk outside. So uh, definitely sign up for frank stefanocom We're going to send out some flyers sort this stuff out and uh take back what's ours so uh thank you guys for joining me today uh, let me know if you have any suggestions or you know helpful stuff down below that's the main reason i'm making this video you know i do enjoy getting feedback from different people you know continuing to learn and you know remaining objective uh, so if you guys do want to support me further you know i've mentioned those several things you can find links to that down in the comments below i haven't mentioned my book in a little while the ancestral indigenous diet uh, we're working on getting the audiobook released and i'm going to do uh, a second version of the book hopefully later this year or earlier next year just to add a few things that were missed uh, so definitely check out all that stuff down below guys of course if you could please like the video subscribe and uh, hit that bell icon uh, i'll see you guys uh, for tomorrow's video